we're going to talk about pets. I know it's one of my favorite things, but you know, sometimes just like people, they have pain for one reason or another. And I've got my favorite expert on to tell us what do we do when our pet has pain. Dr. Leonda Armstrong, great to have you on the show again. Thank you so much, Sandy. It's great to be back. Well, you have a long list. You're like a professor. You're a veterinarian. You're a certified veterinarian, acupuncture, certified canine rehabilitation therapist. I am. And uh, with all that, you're also the owner of Circle L Animal Hospital and for Paws Rehabilitation and Wellness Clinic. Correct. Yep. So you're not very busy, but we really no. appreciate you coming on the show today because it really is important. I mean, our animals, they try to talk to us as best they can, but sometimes it's hard for us to understand. But we know, and we've talked before about how you can tell they're in pain, right. but you've got some really interesting things that I've, I've experienced with my, my dog, too. Right to help with that pain. Yeah. And, and they're kind of unusual, like laser is, is one that, mm -hmm. well, first of all, I have to say your little, little gal Tawny here, she's gonna help us with this whole thing. And she's got this amazing jacket on. She does. So that's actually a back on track jacket. And um, it is ceramic lined throughout the material. So it actually helps to keep her muscles warm. So prior to events or prior to hiking or long walks, you can put this on them so they stay nice and warm, their muscles stay supple. Oh. And then also after a strenuous exercise, you can put it back on to help them cool off. So you can help to prevent muscle strains, pulls, tears, things like that, wow. just to keep your athlete healthier. <laughs> that is fascinating. Yeah. And this is a little border collie type girl, is it she? Is. She's she just is. so can cute. You stand? Well, and also I know calming jackets. It almost uh -huh. reminds me of a little calming jacket. They feel a kind of secure in these things um, too. She does. She actually feels very secure in it. She does not mind having it on. Um, it's it's and so cute. And these is always willing to put it on, she actually relaxes better with it too. Well, that is a really fun thing yeah. too for him. Yeah, so kind of cool. Um, I see she's a good baby. And so she's our worker dog. Now, yes. one of the, the modalities that you have to treat pain is um, laser. Right, so we use a cold therapy laser. Um, it actually emits two different wavelengths of light. And as the light goes into the body, it helps to reduce inflammation, swelling, and pain, and um, stimulates anti-inflammatory mediators. So um, I'm just going to give a little demonstration of what it might look like if you came in to have laser on your dog. Great. Okay. okay. So everybody has to have glasses because it's a laser light, so it has to be protected. So the glasses go on. I think yes. she could ride the motorcycles with the goggles she too. She could. Maybe. And then you get to wear your glasses. Okay. And I have to wear mine. Because we're all going to be in there while this That's is going right. on. That's right. That's oh, right. Wow. And we Everybody encourage, looks green. don't they? <laughs> we encourage the owners to be present. So we have two different head sizes depending on the area that we're treating. So we would have our patient, and whatever area that we decide that we need to treat, we're just going to place the laser directly over the top of that area. It's going to make a beeping noise. Once the beeping noise stops, we know that that area is complete, and so then we may move to the next area depending on whatever's going on. It could okay. be back pain, it could be hip pain, it could be a hot spot right. or chronic ear infections. And I remember, you know, I brought my dog in uh, several times for these, all these treatments and they were amazing, I should say. Yeah. But I, I know she had arthritis and problem in a leg uh -huh. and so the laser went there yeah. for her too. And if it's a small area, then we use the small head. And we can get oh, okay. a little closer to the body. We always protect the eye. So let's say we have an ear infection. I'm gonna treat right over the top of the ear. Now, this is an amazing thing. This is, this is sort of new technology for animals, would you say? You know, or? it's really not. It's been around for a very, very long time. The problem is that we just don't know that much about it uh -huh. um, until the last three or four years. Now there are published papers out there that have scientific proof behind it saying this actually does work. It makes a difference. And how it works. And you know, and, and I'm going to say again, because Simba was in there a, a lot getting this, and every time I could tell a difference, it made a difference in how she felt, how she mm -hmm. handled that pain. So, mm -hmm. you know, I, I just thought it was amazing. I had never heard of it until you had this. And uh, so that's, uh, that's good. And then also you have, uh, what, acupuncture as well with yeah. this. Again, so, people <clears throat> use acupuncture. Absolutely, but they do. So um, acupuncture is just the placement of needles into the body to simulate the system again to release endorphins to make us relax and feel comfortable, anti-inflammatory mediators to reduce pain and swelling. And they really don't care. The needles are so incredibly small that you can't hardly even see them. 
So they're just really, really little. Um, it's like poking yourself with an insulin syringe. That needle is so small. So the only thing they're going to do is actually feel the initial little poke, and then the, uh, everything's gone. So oftentimes, they'll just sleep through the process. We well, can use electric stem with it as well. Uh -huh. So we actually connect these little things to the needles so that that sends an electrical impulse down into the needle, which increases the activity of the needle itself. Oh, so you can do it either way. Yes, you know. And again, you know, Simba had this a number of times, and it's amazing how you put those in gently, and, and she would just fall asleep. Yeah. So this is not, this is not in itself traumatic at all. No. It's very comforting. And it can be used on cats, too. This is one of our cats that we did the e-stim on, and so... And see, she's sleeping. Yeah. Now, if a cat can sleep through acupuncture, it is easy squeezing. Absolutely. <laughs> That's my thought, too. Yeah, <laughs> Well, and then you also have a massage. We do. So um, one other thing that we have on the table here is our TENS unit. The TENS unit can be used for pain, swelling, and inflammation as well. Oh, okay. Just like you do at a human, you go in and you have rehab done, and then they put the little pads on you afterwards to stimulate your muscle movement. So these are the same way. These actually help to stimulate muscle, so it can be used for strengthening pain and swelling. I'm like post-surgery, all that kind of thing is this yep. rehab is really yeah. good. Yeah, we use it a lot in back dogs when they've herniated a disc in their back and they can't walk or move. We use that to stimulate the muscles because the nerves can't work. Fascinating. Do you have to shave them or anything to put those on? They do not have to be shaved. Oh, nice. Yeah. So they're not going to go around with polka dots on them or nope, something? Nope, not at all. <laughs> okay. All right. And then again, massage. Again, people love this, you know, yeah. and for themselves. And, and now we find out why. So why is massage good for come, animals? Come, 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 come. So there's several different techniques of massage. Um, when we do myofascial release, we're actually releasing the fascia along the body so that the skin can glide better over the top of the body, which helps to relieve adhesions. When you have skin so tight, you can't move. Right. And so what this is gonna do is help to relieve those adhesions and help to move that skin so that it slides and glides better. Um, then there's petrissage, which is gentle stroking, effleurage, which is skin rolling, and then there's deep cross fiber. Oh, and they hate it so much. They do. They hate <laughs> this every This is wonderful. Minute. And again, Simba had it, and it was absolutely yeah. amazing yeah. how you, I remember you found a real sore spot right up in here, mm -hmm. a little massage, and it totally relieved that. Well, these yes. are amazing modalities to help yeah. our pets feel comfortable and pain-free and lucky Tawny, Tawny because she yeah. gets it all. But, but what great options for people with mm -hmm. their pets mm -hmm. because it will uh, extend their lives, make them so much happier and more comfortable. Well, anyway, Dr. Leanda Armstrong, thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you. It's wow. been wonderful. Well, again, Circle Little Animal Hospital, but also Four Paws Rehabilitation and Wellness Clinic. It's yeah. a great place to go. Thank you, Tony, as well. Oh, thank you. <laughs>